Meg dons giant dress to Jamaica after band dancing with Travolta. Who wears a ball gown to a film premiere? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their grand arrival at the Carib 5 Theatre in Crossroads St. Andrew, Jamaica for the premiere of Bob Marley One Love. All eyes were on Meghan's big ensemble. The premiere scheduled for a Valentine's Day release was a setting for the couple's latest public appearance. Meghan's outfit for the evening was nothing short of spectacular. For the red carpet at the Carib 5 Theatre in Crossroads St. Andrew Parish, the Markle wore an all-black ensemble with a hair in a bun and middle part while Prince Harry opted for a navy blue jacket over a loose white dress shirt, sans tie. A source from the Sussex's staff said that this is supposed to be what she was going to wear while dancing with John Travolta at the Living Legends Awards, but she was uninvited. Who's wearing a ball gown to a film premiere? She's not the star or producer. It's like that horrible red dress she wore to the military charity in New York. Certainly, the dress is one she bought for Harry's awards ceremony. That outfit she's wearing is not good for the heat in Jamaica. In the video on Twitter, she was holding the dress up really high while she walked. I thought it was raining there, but there's no way she could walk in it without lifting the skirts up. No wonder there's a deep crease in the skirt at the top of her thigh. Couldn't she merch dresses for petite women? She must at least know how tall she is, even if she has no taste in what styles look good on her. Her dress is so long she has to hold the front of it up. Think she's a princess in a cartoon, that dress looks so weird and inappropriate for the event. Is it supposed to be this long? Meghan had to rush down to Jamaica in a private jet to attend a movie premiere to change the focus and recent narrative about Harry's new best friend, Mario Max. Of course, Meghan needed an excuse to get pictures and clicks outside of a parking lot and to dazzle us in her inappropriate finery. And she desperately needed some narcissist fuel after recent media focus on that one. Certainly Meghan was banned from the Living Legends Awards and she said that a kid was ill as an excuse. Guess the kids weren't that sick after all. The kid miraculously recovered in time for her to show up in Jamaica. She probably doesn't even remember putting out the story. Some people commented about Meghan's new appearance. One person said, No kids in sight again. Thought Meghan Markle was tending to sick little one. Both with the trademark smug, arrogant smile, with zero shame. Must be hogging someone's limelight. And what in the world potato sack is she wearing? Did she get some work done on her face again? Second wrote, ball gown in the heat of Jamaica. Ha! <laughs> she looks like an ancient extra from Costner's Dances with Wolves, the fourth added. Another one said, amazing how Megan tailors her look to meet what race she wants to project. Her makeup and fake tan is quite dark in this one.